The strain on the power grid is threatening the entire region. At least 14 states are on the same grid from Texas to North Dakota. Blackouts are possible in many of these states. Now, outages are not expected in California, but this morning, the independent group that regulates our power grid is asking everybody to do their part to conserve energy. ABC 10 Zach Fuentes joins us live at Cal California's ISO headquarters in Folsom. So Zach, what can people do to conserve energy and why should they be doing it based on what's happening around the country? Well, Walt, there's really some simple things we can do to conserve energy, and we should do it because they say what we do here can help ease the stressed grids over there. And if you're like me, you're wondering, well, how does what we do impact what's happening over there? But Cal ISO says that California both receives and exports energy to and from entities outside of the state. They say the energy that we conserve here can be sent to other states to help them meet their energy demand. So some easy things you can do to help out is lower your thermostat to 68 degrees or low, if your health permits, of course that and unplug small appliances and wait until you have a full load before running the dishwasher or washing machine. You can also do things like watch media on your tablets. You can take shorter showers. There's so many tips, these conservation tips that we are so familiar with here in California. And again, we want to reiterate that Cal ISO says that they are not expecting any outages here in California. This is purely to help the people over there. They first started asking everyone to do this in the evening hours yesterday, and they are again asking for this today. But again, no outages planned here in California. These are just some simple things that we can do to help them over there. Of course, we're familiar with rolling outages here. We dealt with this in the summer, this last summer, because of the demand that we were causing on our grid here because of heat, cooling, uh, the heat wave, the wildfires. So we're familiar with this. And if you don't want to do it to help the people over there, these are things that will also, of course, help your pocketbook if you just want to be selfish in that respect, Walt. Yeah, uh, sure. It's a win-win. Good points all. Zach, thank you very much.